What's up guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today's video, I'm taking my boys out for an evening session of fishing on Chickamauga. Got a couple hours, got out of school. We're gonna go see if we can catch some fish. So come along, should be a good one. When you're working a worm, Josiah, you want to fish it really slow. Patience. Good job, Josiah. There you go. Okay, bring it over here, bring it over here. Oh, you got a big one. No, don't wrench, don't wrench. Oh, I'm gonna go help him. Here, here, here. See you, Josiah. <laughs> What'd you catch? This is what we're talking about. <laughs> All right, let him go. Good job, dude. Oh, you yeah. see Oh, it's not. What's that, bud? Ate that uh, world pop. Thanks, dude. So what we're doing, we're just fishing this little backwater. Josiah's throwing a shaky head. Jay's throwing a drop shot. I'm out front throwing a, a little popper. Might switch off between a frog, depends on how grassy it gets. But um, again, we're just fishing. It's only three, three and a half feet deep out here. Just fan casting. But uh, right now, fishing all three stages, pre-spawn, post-spawn, and the spawn. So I haven't seen any beds yet, but I think that's what these fish are up here doing. But uh, got two, off to a good start. Here, bud. Fish out here around this stuff, okay? See if they're right along that weed line. Not on top of them, I passed. Your whole cast is right there, that's the strike zone. You need to be past that to bring it to them. Another big one goes to Daddy. <laughs> no, no, no. Nice popper fish. Fish number three. Thanks, bud. Point to where you're gonna cast and let go. There you go. Good job. Perfect. Little tip for you guys that uh, have kids or 
uh, people that are learning to cast, especially when you start getting around docks and uh, low laying, low lying branches. I tell the boys, you know, cast, don't let go of the line on a spinning rod, like point where you want to cast and then let go of your line. It'll keep you from sending one to the moon and, uh, you know, getting that line tangled up over the branches and stuff. But especially when you have things like this out here, branches and stuff hanging, point to your cast and then let go of your line. It'll be more of a line drive cast and you won't get nearly as many hangups in branches. You want to release him, bud? Whoa, 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 whoa. He's trying to release himself. Got a little guy on the drop shot. All right, bud. Want to release him? Come over here. Let him go. Ow, he bites. Watch out, Diddy. Good job, bud. Good, start reeling. Can you get some bass down under that rope, Yeah, absolutely. How do you get under there? Huh? How do you get under there? Skip it with a sinker and a sinker? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, both outside. Not the biggest, but they're eating. Is that the little one? <laughs> it is the littlest, but that's not what I was saying, bud. I was saying it's not the biggest bass. Dude, yeah. he got that thing. Where is it? I can reach down with my fingers. So we're do what we're doing, guys, getting, we're losing some daylight, but uh, got Josiah back here in the back. He's throwing a weedless shaky head. So he's throwing around dock pilings, throwing around overhangs, little patches of grass. Ahead of us, we have a big patch of grass. So JD's throwing the top water, he's throwing the frog, trying to get him on a frog bite. And then I am throwing a Texas rigged uh, six inch drop shot. And I'm just fishing the sparse grass lines. A lot of times when these fish come up, you know, this is only the only cover in this entire part of the bay and they'll get all in that grass. So this time of the year, you find the grass, you'll find the bass. But I'm really hoping that Diddy can get one on top. You want to get all the way back to shore, bro. Okay. I have them, so that, like, all the way. Can you give me a little bit? Got one. Got one? There you go. Sit. Sit. Bring him over here. Bring him over here. Bring him up front. Bring him over here. Bring him over here. No, no, no. no. Don't pull like that. Like that. <laughs> walk. Just walk over here. Rod tip up. Rod tip up. Keep it up. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. He's got a good one. Oh, you do oh. have a good one. Watch out, Judy. Come on. Come up here. Come on. No, this is yours, dude. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Is the GoPro going? Yeah. Keep him from jumping. Keep him from jumping. Oh, that was a good one. I'll net him. We don't have a net. I'll um, lift him. I'll lift him. I got him. <laughs> <laughs> I got the biggest one of the day. Hold it. Isn't that like you a five? Bring him here. Bring him here. Oh, I, I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, nice, dude. Isn't <laughs> that like a six? No, but that's... Come show it to the camera. How big is that? Come here. Hold it, hold him for you. He's big. <laughs> Look at that one. Can you show mommy it? Take a picture? <laughs> We're, just, We're shooting video, dude. But, dude. Here, hold it. Lip it. Got him? He's heavy. Show him to the camera. Ow! Show him to the camera. Stand up. Stand up. 
<laughs> Can you take a picture of me yeah, holding we'll get a picture. it? We'll get a picture. This one ate that uh, T-Mac shaky head. Here. I can't wait until we get a picture. Move your rod. Move your rod. Okay, like like Kneel down. Is that my PB? No. <laughs> no. Cool, dude. Let's let her go. You want to let her go slowly? Is it a boy or a girl? Okay, you got her? Girl, probably. Show the camera. He's got blood on Where were you casting? I was casting on a dock and there was this ladder. Oh, I got a little out and she got a big one. <laughs> nice work. Found it. So what you're supposed to say when I say, hey, tell the camera where you caught it, say, I caught it where daddy said to cast. Ready? Go. Where'd you catch it? Um, I caught it where my dad told me to cast. <laughs> oh, did you get bit? That was a bite on the frog, right? Mm-hmm. All right, guys, I think we're gonna wrap it up there. We're losing light. I can't tell if the uh, GoPro is, got the new GoPro 10, so hopefully it's good in low light. But um, great couple hours out on the water, you know, it's always fun when I can get the boys out. Um, it's all about teaching. You know, it, it can be frustrating to be completely honest, you know, see them getting hung up and them bickering and stuff, you know, fighting over different baits or whatever. But um, as a parent, there's nothing better than getting out on the water with your with your, with your, your boys and having them catch fish. Um, just creating those memories, those lifelong memories. You know, I remember getting out with my dad and, you know, walking ponds and, and just doing a, a, a ton of fishing. So. Um, great night, caught fish, that's just a bonus. You know, it's a beautiful night. Uh, Josiah tore him up from the back. Josiah, let me see your bait, bud. He was throwing a 3 16 ounce shaky head with a T-Mac, Netbait T-Mac in a June bug color. Just like every video, I'll link everything down below in the video description. And uh, JD was throwing a drop shot and then throwing this guy right here. Uh, this evening, we are targeting the isolated grass patches. He had, what, three blow-ups? Yeah. Three blow-ups, no real eats on the frog. That's that new frog from Spro. Uh, it's got the metal feet, those Colorado blades in the back. They just clank and bang and sound like, uh, I don't know what they sound like, just add a little bit of sound to that uh, frog. What's cool about this is you can walk it, but you can also just reel it and let those feet look like little bait fish. Uh, it's really easy for uh, a beginner frog fisherman to fish because you don't have to walk it. Um, but uh, what'd you think? Yeah, I like it. You like it? And then I was throwing um, was there a popper, that uh, that world pop. I don't know where it's at. Where's it at? I don't know. I know. World pop. The cool thing about that bait, it's right there, bud. Hand it, hand it to me. Um, I finished it up, finished the evening up, just throwing a six inch drop shot. I actually like throwing on a bait caster. That way you can get those fish out of the grass, out of the dock, uh, pilings and stuff. But the top water fish for me were on that, uh, that world pop. It's got that flash boost. You guys can see how the inside just, just moves. What's cool about this popper, I love throwing the, the Mega Bass, the Pop Max, the Pop X. Um, the Rio Rico, the Yellow Magic. What sets this popper aside is that secondary action. So it's a very easy popper to walk, but I think where this popper really shines is bloop and let it sit and letting that flash boost inside just sit there and flash like scales. I've been really, really impressed with this guy right here. But uh, all in all, a great night. Josiah, come say goodnight to the camera. Um, like I said, it's always a win getting out on the water with the kids. It's its just a bonus when they can catch yeah. fish. How, uh, did you have fun? Yep. Good job, bud. Got the big fish of the night. How many did you catch? Two. Two? JD, how many did you catch? None. Goose egg. But hey, you're learning, right? It's not always about catching. He's learning how to throw a baitcaster better. 
learning how to make good casts, pick your cast selection, and uh, learning to throw different baits, guys. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoy this type of video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs> Have a good night, guys.